We're at Ani today. We're in Old Town Park, beautiful building. Takes up like half this block. A lot of amenities, a lot of great units. And we're gonna go check out this studio. Come see it. So right when you walk in, you go straight into the unit. Really nice studio. Look at all this storage. There are one bedrooms that do not have all this storage. Full wall of closets right here. And these aren't cheap doors. These are full swing doors. They have ball joints above. Everything I see here is more condo quality because this company knows they're gonna own this building for a very long time, maybe forever, and they wanna do it right the first time. Even a coat closet right here for your guests with tons of extra storage above. And look, if you come here, maybe they'll give you some free Red Bull, who knows? Bathroom right off the entrance. What I like about this is they have this little nook so you can put some furniture here, you can do something for storage or organization and then right into the bathroom. You'll notice on the model, they took off the door because it gets in the way when you're coming when you're coming around, when you're going inside. But really, big space. I love the integrated hardware, no hardware, easy just pull. You'll notice that there's illumination above and below on this area. And then you have storage here, and this is nice because if I'm working here, I'm gonna grab it like this, right? A lot of these sometimes will open up this way, which makes no sense. And then you have this one here too for the same purpose. Grab it from over here. Really nice tile, same tile on the floor as the wall, so it's really clean. Deep soaking tub, I mean, you can actually take a bath here. A lot of these tubs are super slow, you don't have that ability. Towel bar here, you have a fan button, which is really nice, so. All right, can you hear that come on? That's cool. And then you get to the actual unit. So perfect area for your bed. And this distance right here, this is nine feet. So no matter what size bed you have, you could lay it this way, you could lay it this way, you could put a king here, you could do anything you want with this space. There's enough space to do it. I love this because you have a nook for your sleeping area, it's off to the side, and then when you're spending time in your unit, you don't see it. It's out of the way, out of mind, out of sight. I love how they did real condo quality finishes here. They ran the backsplash all the way up, which is my personal favorite design. This is what I have in my home. And integrated hardware again, where you don't have anything. All soft clothes, of course. They have some really nice appliance packages as well. You'll notice this is the microwave, it's higher. Gas range, full oven below. So these, uh, these are a little smaller. I think these are 24 inches as opposed to 30 inches. So you're losing six inches of space, but it's, you still have four burners. You still have a normal size. So unless you're doing a turkey dinner, a big turkey, you're gonna be able to use this for anything you need. It's gonna fit your pizza, it's gonna do chicken, beef, whatever else you wanna do with it, but a little smaller. And if it couldn't be any cleaner or any nicer, the fridge is completely integrated as well. And check out these snacks. I mean, if you're touring here, when it's time to come and actually check this out, you have lots of things you can come with. Don't eat lunch, just come here. We'll, we'll fill up on these, right? Really nice storage for all this as well. I love how big it is. You're often lacking drawers in any apartment. You'll notice these are usually cabinets. Why? Because drawers are way more expensive. Ani has really done everything right, given it all to you. You even have a place for your silverware. Sometimes you move into a place and you'll realize there's no space for my silverware. I can't have anywhere to put it. You're figuring out these weird solutions. I like that they put this here. I don't know if this is a piece of staging furniture or if it comes in every unit, but I would definitely do something like this. It gives you an idea. It gives you a place where you can actually eat instead of having just you know, like a pub table right in the corner, which is what a lot of people do. And the reason you don't want a pub table is because this is the first time I've seen this in an apartment building. They give you a Juliet balcony, right? Like picture Romeo and Juliet, like... A thousand times good night. A thousand times the worst to want thy light. How there art thou, or whatever, screaming down below. But it's open, so you may not get a balcony, but you're gonna be able to get some fresh air. You're gonna be able to see what's going on outside. It's a really good floor plan. And this part of Old Town, this whole area south of us is being developed. It was purchased by a developer. It's gonna be done over the next 10 years. It's gonna be huge, big apartments, condos, and then everything you love about Wells is right here, just north of you. So this is a prime, prime location, easy to get downtown. I like how they separate the living space as well. So you really get everything you want for a studio. This would definitely be one of the top studios in Old Town.
So if you were just wondering, that took like two dozen tries. Definitely wasn't the first try. We're at Ani, we're on the amenity level. This is super cool because it's childhood. I mean, I've been brought right back to my childhood. We have darts, we have Mortal Kombat, we have Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Boss Man, Nappy. I mean, everything you were paying, playing on that like one bit Nintendo system way back when. It's a super cool space. I love that they have get and go Scrabble right here, right on the wall. And then you have Tekken. I mean, do you remember Tekken? KO, you lose. And then we have all the other games here. It's funny too, we got our fake cop show and a real cop show on right here. Great sitting area. Really nice to have ping pong available to you right here as well. Beverage center. And then an ice maker, which is super nice. I almost forgot the chessboard. I mean, have you been watching Queen's Gambit? That show is awesome. There's no player in the world as gifted as you are. But I'm just looking at rooks and kings and queens and pawns, and it's big. You could actually, you know, learn how to play chess and play it well. Pretty cool. When you're touring through all these apartment buildings, I'm sure you've noticed some have a distinct smell. They have like a branded smell for the building. That's what these things are all over the place, if you've ever seen them. Like you can smell this, you smell it, yeah. It's, it's the building smell being fragranted and infused everywhere into the building. They'll have these in the models, they'll have them in the lobby, everywhere. Staging is so funny. Like, I know this looks good in here, and they gotta make the place look good and presentable. But would you ever use this? Like, would it actually ever come into play in your daily life? I mean, you don't want to sit in the shower, but you want to sit in one of those large, luxurious showers with steam and a rain head. Anyway, we're at Ani. We're in two bed, two bath. I love the rail system here. Very straightforward. Move this around where you need it to be on a good day. If it gets there, oh. I see. They actually, because this is a model, I think, they caulk this in place, but this is designed to move all throughout if I don't want people messing with it. Really nice bathroom. I love the storage that they do here. This is really what you need. And in a bathroom, you need a full length mirror. Because if you're sharing this with another person, they can be here, you can be here, and you can do what you need to. It'd be great if they had two sinks. I'd say that's the only downside of this two bedroom we're in, but this two bedroom outside of that is fantastic. So really good size room here. And they're actually working with a king size bed, it looks like. We're 11.7 in that direction and 11.7 in this direction. So we're in a perfect square here. Nice walk-in closet, well organized. You could move these things around if you needed to, if you needed to get a little different space, organize it a little differently. You'll notice that there's no doors on here, okay? So they've done that to give it a more open feeling. If there was a door here, this door would swing just like this. Me, personally, I'd ask him to take the door off because who needs a door for your closet? You have a door for your bedroom, normally, and that would go right here, and this would swing just like that. And that's why they did that. You'd be swinging this door and then going around and then going like this, and then you'd open the bathroom and you'd do this door. You'll notice there's no doors in any of these models. Looking out onto the balcony has pluses and minuses. If you're having friends over, they can look right into your bedroom, you can't keep it clean, or just close the window treatments, and it's really nice. They have these high quality blackout window treatments for those hard Saturdays and Sundays, right? This is the most important part, my favorite part. The bedroom is just for sleeping, right? So just think about that. We have real living space. This is a Canadian company and every building that they've done here in Chicago, I feel takes a little different approach than your typical Chicago developer. And that's one of the reasons I really like touring their properties because they're built with quality and they're built for longevity. So they're built to be condo quality because they're gonna own these for a long, long time. The views here, not spectacular, but that's 
because we're in a model and the model has the worst views because you wanna give the views to actual people. So don't let this view be a representative of the building itself. When you get up higher, the views are beautiful here. This does look right out on the amenity level. So if you got something in this tier a little bit higher, you just see what's going on, decide if there's someone you wanna to talk to, see if the cabanas are open, go sit down, have some fun. As we've been walking through this unit, there is space everywhere. There's no lack of room. You would never be tight. If you had 20 people here, you could actually make that work between the outside, the inside, the hallways. You have a lot of room to work with. I love this kitchen. They did the waterfall edge on both sides. They did the air button for the disposal. It's probably some debris in there. Waterfall here too. Did a full length integrated fridge that just looks beautiful. And you come to tour of this when you call me and I wanna show this to you, come hungry. Let's just fill up on some snacks, okay? Then you have tons of drawers, tons of cabinets, lots of space. I love that this is all gripless, all integrated, no hardware at all, clean all the way up. I mean, they even did the backsplash all the way behind, which you're never gonna see in an apartment building. Condo owners really wanna do this because they don't wanna spend the money. So this really has everything you need. There's been some feedback about this property about the older thermostats. I'm sure they'll change that over time but easy to do, right? If they just wanna pop a nest in everywhere, not at all, not at all hard. One thing to keep in mind, yeah, this is a standard size range. Yeah, this is 30 inches. The last one we saw in a studio was a little smaller, so I wanna see if they were doing that here. And we have a true exhaust that seems to vent out, which is rare in condos as well. I'm guessing this goes out into something, exits the building. So if you like to cook a lot, this is perfect for you. Then you have this bonus cabinetry right here. This microwave protrudes a little bit, but it's nice how they integrated it in. It looks nice. It has a nice trim kit around it. Tons of storage here as well. Then you have the second bedroom. Easy office, easy kids room, easy roommates, whatever the situation may be. Now this one's a little tighter. You can feel it right off the bat. I'm guessing they have a twin bed here. And that's why we're working with 9-1-10-7 on this space. And this room has one of those strange little corners, right? Like, I don't know what you do with this, but I would do something cool. I mean, you have this whole space to build up for storage. I would have things all right here. Maybe a bookshelf, maybe something like that. We can get really creative with these nooks. And it's kind of the fun thing about condos. You see little spaces like that all the time. You don't know what to work with it. Use your creativity, do something fun. Standard size closet here, nothing too special. Standard doors standard organization, but better than most buildings. Keep in mind this wallpaper is not gonna come with on this back wall. So just be nice vanilla box whenever you get it. And you have this nice long hallway. Again, we're not working with doors here and very spacious, actual tub that you can soak in. This is really deep. I mean, let's, 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 go, let's, let's check this out. If we were to actually do this, because this is the reason I'm doing this right now is this is so much deeper than most. And most of the tubs that you see in buildings are actually unusable. But check this out. I mean, you could have a bath here. You could soak your feet, soak your body, get some Epsom. Do what you want. Is that they have right here? Look at that. Super soak. Do one of these. When you have two bathrooms, you're almost always going to have a stand up shower and an actual tub. But if it's not a tub, you can't really use it. This is a real tub. I have so many clients that are like, I want a tub. I know everyone doesn't take baths, but I like to take a bath every week when my back hurts or maybe lots of reasons, right? You can actually do that here. Nice wide hallway. I think these things are super cool. I've never seen them before. Put your keys in small things. Then you have a true coat closet right off here. And of course, washer and dryer. Let's go out on that balcony. We never checked it out. So we have all this living space, all this room to work with. And then you have a really good sized balcony. Now it is obstructed with a column, but we have 16 feet out here. Okay, 16 feet is the size you see in buildings built pre 80s because most people stop doing balconies, right? Like if you look at the whole front of that building, nothing in the middle has a balcony, only the corners like this one. You'll see a lot of buildings around us that do not have balconies. They did a huge, huge balcony. You get this nice outdoor furniture you could work with. Like you have true space to actually facilitate your needs here. This would be a chill area, seating area. 
And then you could do a grill right here, no problem. So open the door, come outside, do your grilling, do your entertaining, go back. We're just checking out this fridge again. They have a water dispenser right here. So many people want this. You're getting filtered water through your fridge, easy as can be, whenever you live here. Let's check it out. We're in the social lounge. There are so many different spaces here. It's seriously post-COVID world friendly because there are so many places you can go here and no one's here. I mean, amenities are gone. It's so cool. There are so many, so many spaces. So come on, let me show you more. So we're in this other amenity room. We are, this is the Old Town Park Lounge. So much space, so many places to go. It's such a big building. And this is only in tower one. What I like about this too, this is the demonstration kitchen over here. You can close these off. Come on, pick it, come on, get inside. But like, how often do you see this? You could actually segregate this space, enjoy this table, have guests, rent it out. This could be all yours for any parties you're doing. Beautiful windows. It looks like they were going to do a terrace out here, but then decided not to. But check out this kitchen. All full, super long. And this is something like 12 feet, maybe 14. Everything you need, tons of space. I love how they have this elevated so you can actually eat here and hang out, but still have all your prep space. It's a really cool kitchen. So in so many of these buildings, you never see a family room. And I'm 34, I'm gonna be having kids soon. You want a space like this where you can bring your children. Maybe you don't wanna live in a home or a condo, you wanna live in a high rise apartment building for whatever reasons, there are so many. You want a space if you have kids where you can go. No one's gonna be here. If you have an au pair or nanny, they could use this space. They could spend the day. They even have WTTW kids on the screen. And this is set up for your children, set up for everything you need. It's right off the amenity level, so you could be grilling or having fun or having a drink. Your kids be playing in here. How nice is it to have a designated space for your children?